Projection of Solids In this tutorial, we'll delve into the intricacies of drawing solid projections. Essentially, we'll explore the art of projecting a three-dimensional object onto a two-dimensional plane, following specific instructions. But before we dive into the details, let's establish some fundamental concepts. This video will serve as a blueprint, illustrating how various shapes manifest in a 2D view and the correct orientation required to achieve accurate projections. We will start with pyramids. These are the examples of different types of pyramids. Square pyramid, pentagonal pyramid, hexagonal pyramid. Consider a square pyramid in the first quadrant. When we see the front view of the square pyramid it will look like this. And when we see it from the top view it will look like this. This view shows the true shapes of the square pyramid, which we will need to draw first in every problem for the given solid. In this case, there are two possible ways, when we incline this axis of the pyramid at a certain angle, we can see one of its sides rests on HP. What if we want to incline the axis of the pyramid in such a way that one of its corners rests on HP? In that case we need to change the orientation of the pyramid. In this orientation, the true shape of the pyramid from the front and the top view will look like this. Here we need to focus on how the top view of the pyramid looks in its true shape when one edge of the base is resting in HP, and when a corner is resting on HP, since this is the key point that will help us draw the other views of the solid. Similarly, for the pentagonal pyramid, the top view will be like this when an edge of the base is resting in HP, and the top view will look like this if the corner is resting on HP. For the hexagonal pyramid, when the edge of the base is in HP, the top view will be like this. And when the corner rests on HP, the top view will look like this. I hope this clarifies any doubts about the orientation for drawing the top view in the true shape of the solid. When one of the edges of the base is in HP, the orientation of the top view is such that one of its edges of the base is perpendicular to the reference line. When its corner is resting on HP, the orientation is such that its corner rests on the line perpendicular to HP, and points towards the right side. Furthermore, if the question specifies a face in HP or VP, or a face inclined to HP or VP, we will draw the top views of the shapes accordingly for their respective solids. And if it mentions a slant edge in HP or VP, or a corner in HP or VP, in that case, we will draw the top view of the respective shapes in these orientations. Apart from this, we can see that these corners will represent A, B, C, D, and the center will be labeled as O, P, which will be the axis of the pyramid. Now let's consider the prisms. The top view of the prism when an edge of the base is resting on HP will be like this, and when a corner is resting on HP, the top view will be like this. For the pentagonal prism, this is the top view when an edge of the base is resting on HP. This is the top view when the corner is resting on HP. Similarly for the hexagonal prism, top view when the edge of the base is resting on HP. Top view when the corner is resting on HP. Moreover, if the question specifies a vertical face in HP or VP, or a rectangular face inclined to HP or VP, we will illustrate the top views of the shapes in this orientation for their respective solids. Alternatively, if the question mentions the prism with a vertical edge inclined to HP or VP, or a corner inclined to HP or VP, then we will draw the top views of the respective shapes in these orientations. One additional point to note here is the naming convention. In this case, the corners are labeled as A, E because the corners of the top and bottom bases of the prisms overlap, resulting in the corners also overlapping. To grasp the terminology used in solids, you can watch the first video on the projection of solids, which will give you a clear understanding. I trust this video has aided your comprehension of how the true shape of a solid is oriented for various shapes. This understanding is crucial for accurately drawing the projections of given solids. If you found this video helpful, please consider clicking the like button, and if you're new to my channel, ADTW Study, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.